Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals and welcome back to my channel. I'm here to memory plan the month of October in my A5 wide. I have this um, October monthly kit from Planaface. I do PR for Planaface so I get a discount for promoting her stickers um, and it means that you can use Tilly Turner to save money. So that is the kit. I have this little stack of washies. These ones are all simply gilded. This one is Creating & Co and this one is the Coffee Monsters Co. And yeah, that's about it. So let's turn to, that's not the right page, September, October, 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 there we go, let's turn to the right page, that's just in the next page I'm going to do, um, and yeah, oh I have in it, over here I have my um, stickers pulled out, ready um, to go in my Planner Face reusable sticker album as well. So yeah, without any further ado I'm going to speed up and pop the base of the kit down. As always when popping the base of a kit down, I like to just chat quickly about a Black Lives Matter issue. Um, and today I want to talk about um, black people's perception in cartoons particularly, or people of colour, um, particularly focus on, on something I love but I accept is not perfect and that is Disney. So a lot of villains in Disney cartoons are often portrayed as the um, villain in cartoons or the other way to look at it is the villains often have like features of somebody of colour um, and like it's just appalling because it's just teaching like young children racist behaviours via cartoons um, and some people like Disney have started to try and address this but to be honest they ain't doing the best job so like one of the things that was meant to like super be forthcoming and forthright and be like amazing that was happening was um the princess and the frog and then the rather than it being focused on the fact that a black woman was trying to start her own business it was like more focused on the fact that she became a frog for most of the film and yeah so it like negated the entire point of the film to and it wasn't like amazing as it is like it's still great that uh, there was a black princess but it wasn't as good as it should have been you know um so yeah just remember that when you're showing your children cartoons and to you know challenge those behaviors that's the word okay so that's the base down the bases are always super easy on these monthly spreads so without any further ado let's just get straight on to the day by day so on the thursday i had a bit of a youtube day i just did lots and lots of things for youtube and um, so that can just go in there and for that I've got um, a Sticky Studio Co microphone and I also have a YouTube um, script sticker from uh, Colourful and Co. On the second I had a patient at work who was having a GI bleed and a stroke which is not ideal, ischemic stroke so here had clotted in his head which was giving him the stroke and he was also bleeding so that made things quite difficult. On the third we went mattress shopping <laughs> that's the sort of thrilling things we have to mark. Um, October was a super super exciting month um, in a lot of ways um, but yeah, mattress shopping I felt like I should mark in but it isn't the most exciting thing in the world. On the fourth, is it the fourth? Um, me and so before we bought our house my dad and boyfriend came over and they were meant to be double checking that um we own a pool table that the pool table would be able to fit up the stairs lo and behold we move in we try and get the pool table up the stairs and we discover it will not fit so i was a little bit like fuming about that um oh i didn't check oh i did have one thing to mark in but at the same time i don't I have one thing to mark in with washi which I didn't put down but I am going to pop it in. So my parents um, went to see my sister from the 16th to the 18th. Um, well, no more went to see my nephew because it was his first birthday. Um, but let's just pop this piece of washi in for that before I get any further. Uh, where's my washi terror thing? Well that wasn't straight but it's fine. Um, good. So on to the next week. On the 5th I want to just mark in that my brain wasn't working very well and I know that sounds stupid but I know what I mean I just like couldn't think properly um, and I don't know why it was but I just my brain was not in gear at all it just happens sometimes and that's okay that it happens 
Um, yeah. And on the 6th, I spent most of the day sorting out our budget in one way or another. Um, I did some budgeting for myself and for the shop. Um, it was just a budget kind of day. So that's in there. On the 7th, I kind of want to put the icon there and write on the flag. I'm going to go with that. On the 7th, we had major, and I mean major, understaffing at work. Um, like, I went in at 1, and everyone was like, oh my god, thank god somebody's here. We actually don't have any staff. Um, there were like two people started at 9 o'clock, which was horrendous. Um, so that's for that. I don't know why I'm putting these ones at the bottom. I kind of want to move them up to the top. I was putting them at the bottom because I was thinking I'd leave this gap for those, but um, actually for these, that I can't put a full box. Um, the reason I do that is so that I can try and fit my full decorative boxes in some places, um, but that won't help with that. Um, I might just put my fifth flag in before I put in this, um, whatchamacallit it? What is this? Pound. Pound symbol. Why could I not remember the name of that? Um, there we go. Let's pull that up and pop that back there. There we go. Um, just because I knew that was going to overlap a little bit and I want to do that in place first. And same with this, just move it up to the top. I might even move that a bit higher because I can just squeeze in understaffing next to the sixth. So then on to the seventh. Uh, the 8th, sorry, I moved all the Tilly Journal stuff into our new house and um, so I set up my new office which is where I'm filming this video. Super exciting! There. And then on the 10th, so I was on nights these nights, um, on the 10th I got stupidly upset about um, paint and it was done but I did so I want to mark it in. And that's it for that week. On the next week was moving week. Um, but the first thing to mark is my boyfriend's dad went into hospital with COVID on the Monday, um, which was not ideal. Um, he is out of hospital, he is fine. And um, he's been for a run. He's going back to work on Tuesday. I'm actually filming this video on the 1st of November. Like that's how on it I am. I'm never this on it. It's very strange to me. Um, but he's going back to work on Tuesday on the 3rd. Um, so we're really pleased about that. On the 12th, spent the day doing lots and lots of prep to move into our house. Um, literally the entire day was house prep. But, I mean, we needed to because we moved on at the weekend. And uh, so that's there. And then on the Wednesday, I'm going to mark in, um, we did a giant, I mean a giant grocery shop. Um, so just put that in and I have the giant grocery shop girl there to play with that. Then on the fifth, this box here, I'm going to mark in my parents going away. Um, it's probably one of the last times I'm going to mark them going away in my planner because um, we don't live with them anymore. So although though we may have to cat sit when they're away, so I may still mark in my planner. So ignore that. Then the 16th was moving day, which is going to get a big half box. Sorry, the 17th was a moving day. That gets a big half box. And then on the 18th, it was my nephew's first birthday. Um, and also we had a nice relaxing day. So for the nice relaxing day, how can I do this? I'm gonna pop this flag here. Again, I think I might put my flag in for the 18th. Um, I just realised that should be the sixth flag, not the fifth. Um, I've put in the wrong flag. I'll change that in a sec. And then put the tiger next to it, and then I can relax, right, relax in. Um, fabulous. And let's change this flag while I remember, because otherwise it's going to really confuse me. Later. Let's see whether I can get this other sticker off without ruining it. You know what I should do? Pull out my undo. Do you know what I'm not going to do? Pull out my undo. Because I'm lazy. There we go. It was all right. I peeled it off without much much upset so this should be the six and um, so let's just pop the correct flag down there we go and then underneath that i also want to mark in that it was his first birthday um 
Uh, what should I use? Should I use a quarter box? I'm going to use a quarter box and it's going to go in the middle and then there's going to be a giant sticker there. I had this PGJs all day for my relax. Should I put that in there? Yeah, why not? Except then you can't see the hat. Mm, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do best do this. Maybe if I pull Felix's birthday down. Then if I put the PJs all day under the hat. That works. I'm gonna do that, I think. Maybe if I can I peel this up? I kind of want it to be there. Or no, let's just not put the sticker in. That's probably the solution. And let's move this sticker back up and make it look better again. I preferred it at first before I wanted to put that sticker in. Okay, that's fine. Um, so that's Felix's birthday. On to this week. Um, it was like my first morning in our new house and I dropped a cup of tea all over the floor. Um, and I was quite upset because the first spill in the house. Not good, not ideal. Um, and I'm also just gonna pop the flag for this day in as well. Again, just because I want to make sure my placing of the sticker is okay. Um, and I don't cover up too much of the 19th. There we go. Oops, we're super out of frame then. Sorry. And then on the 20th, I live, I live, I work on a, like, COVID, technically a COVID-free ward. And we had so many cases. We had three cases of COVID on that day. Um, so that was, that was fun. Um... On the 20th, I just want to mark that I lost my water bottle, which I was not very happy about. I was quite upset, actually. Um, like, these things happen, but also, meh. Um, I love that water bottle, and it's completely gone missing. But, oh well. And again, I may have to put in the flag, but I'll deal with that later, actually. So that's there. On the 23rd, I want to mark that I was a moody mare. I don't know why I was a moody mare, but I was a moody mare. So we're going to mark that in. Um, just there and I have like a sweary <laughs> fuck this <laughs> basically um, on the 24th I was working on orders and having a lot of problems with it um, so that was fun um, it was just like teething issues of um, you know new new office getting used to everything um, it was mostly my own fault, but it's fine. Um, and then on the 24th, I was getting frustrated because my lights, my new lights were annoying me and upsetting me and weren't working how I wanted them to. So, there's that. There. On to the last week. On the 27th, our cleaner started working for us. Um, so I'm going to pop that in. And that's going to be pulled down to the bottom again so I can try and fit some four boxes in. Um, on the 27th our ward moved and it was chaotic in the extreme like stupidly chaotic it was ridiculous um, so that happened on the 28th I was really really struggling my mood was super low that day not ideal not what you want um, because it was a day of annual leave as well um, and I just cried and cried and cried and it was not good but you know, that happens. Um, on the twenty, on the thirtieth, um, we had a baking day. So went round to my mum and dad's house and did lots and lots of baking. That's there. And then the thirtieth, um, I have two things to mark. One I cannot currently share. I will tell you in Monday's video what it is. But that's just going to go there. And we're not going to say anything else on the topic. And I want to change that washing strip to not orange. And also, um, I want to mark in getting our cats, which is going to go up at the top. So for getting our cats, I have this sticker, and I'm not putting anything in here for now. And that's it. Um, I'm kind of tempted to try and squidge in the Halloween sticker, but I'm not going to. Um, that is all of the day by day, I think. Is that really it? It feels really empty. Um, cool. I'm going to change this washi strip out though because I feel like there's too much orange in this little section. 
Um, let's see if I can peel that up. Well, it's slightly toward the sticker, but I'm gonna live with it. And I'm gonna switch it for this purple one. Oh God, I'm ripping the sticker worse and worse. I'm just gonna put that back down. Oh, I have bake scripts and I didn't pull one out. I might have to go and get a bake script um, to put in there, because all the baking. Okay, so now that's down, we're gonna go in with washi and full boxes. Um, I will probably like switch between what I'm doing, but I'm gonna make it work. And we've got these three decorative full boxes and these three decorative full boxes, and I reckon we can get them all in. So whilst I'm um, doing all the washi and stuff, it's time for our monthly check-in. How are we all doing? How was October for you? Uh, did you do anything exciting? Did you have anything fun? Um, in the UK, we um, went back into lockdown in October, which is not ideal, really. Um, not really what I want to be doing in November, um, but these things happen. Um, but it was also a super exciting month for us anyway, because we moved into our house um, and yeah, um, so, and we got our kittens, and yeah, so it was a pretty dreamy month anyway, um, even though it was a bit shit in some ways because of COVID restrictions increasing again. Um, but these things happen, and um, you have to sort of work with it, don't you? What about you? How was your month? Let me know in the comments. I love to chat to you in these videos and hear about the amazing things you did. My problem with these videos is they're not very long to start with and then like half of the video is sped up because um, essentially a lot of what I do is like sticking stuff down that you don't want to listen to me like talk through. Um, you don't want to listen to me like chat while I stick down 31 tiny stickers because it's just boring. Um, but also it makes for very very short little videos where I literally just talk through like some tiny interesting bits and that's it. Um, but let me know if you can see another way of me doing this video because I cannot. Um, I feel like this is the way forward um, but it does make for a short video and I don't like doing like tiny videos. I like doing like longer chattier videos because I know that's what you guys like. Though it also is quite nice to have some shorter videos to edit. Um, but still, let me know down below if there's anything like slightly different you want to see from this video from me. And I'll see if I can do it for November. Okay, so that's everything written in. I did just run off and grab a grocery shop script for there and a baker script for there. because I wanted to write bake all the things. There we go. So that is pretty much it. I could add some like more foil in, but I actually quite like these with a little bit like lighter foil. And um, it just lets the kit pop a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that's all I really have for this video. Um, these are generally quite quick little videos. Like I've only actually been filming for 34 minutes, which is crazy. Most of my videos are start like start at over an hour. Um, I'm not loving that these two are like right next to each other, but I don't really know how I can change that very easily because I've stuck like other stuff on top of them. I hadn't really looked at it like that yet. Mm. I'm just gonna like speed up for a sec and see if I can switch this over without ruining things and without getting like tons of undo out. I think I probably can because um, a lot of my boxes are stuck down on washi so it makes it a bit easier to peel things up um, because of like that base of washi. Okay, that was actually a lot less painful than I thought it would be. So yeah, that's all I really have for this video. Um, I always get tempted, and I think I'm going to this time, is I'm just gonna add like a little strip of washi across the top of the page, because I always think this looks a little bit empty. Um, I'm kind of looking forward to having my own monthlies next year. I've only got two more on this this, this planner, um, and then my kits will fit a bit better with monthly kits, um, because they will be designed to work with them and yeah um, that's my plan at least stick that along the top as well i just feel like it brings the washi in a little bit more and it makes it look less empty up there so yeah that's all i have for you today super super exciting and yeah i hope to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching um let me know down below what the exciting things that happened to you in october were um, I'm looking forward to hearing them. Thanks for watching. Bye!